Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to get cheats to work for the Project 64 emulator which emulates N64. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is go to configuration and make sure hide advanced settings is not checked. That's going to give us, it's going to allow us to view the cheats and add more cheats. So the next thing you want to do is go to system and go to cheats and then you'll see that there's going to be a clicky bar on the right hand side that will expand it to this. So, this right here is the written guide that I have on my website that explains basically everything that I've explained so far, as well as a little bit more, and I'm going to pull the cheats off of this page, because these are the example cheats that I'm using. Make sure you click New Cheat right here. If you don't, it won't save the cheat. I've had that happen to me a few times. Even if the window is blank, it still won't save the cheat unless you click New Cheat first. Not exactly sure why, but... Anyway, once you add the name and the cheat, click Add Cheat. You'll see it actually pops up in the little box slash window here on the left. And we're going to add No Random Battles as well. Click New Cheat. No Random Battles. And let's pop that in. Add Cheat. And we just have to click both of these on. You can see a little check next to them, letting you know that they are on and currently working. And then close that window. So. First, I can show you that the walkthrough walls works because even if you haven't played Quest 64, you can probably tell that you're not supposed to get up here. Like this is the edge of the world. And you can see no random battles works because this is an old school RPG and I haven't gotten into a battle yet. And that is just unheard of in <laughs> RPGs that are this old. So that's really all there is to it. But for those of you who are still having some troubles getting cheats to work, there's a few things I can give you um, to help you out. So the first is to run Project 64 as an administrator. That is something I personally have to do in order to get the cheats to work. Another thing that you might find that you have to do is uh, install a new version of Project 64. Yours might be old, the install might be corrupted for some reason, something might be wrong. Another thing that you could do is, as silly as it sounds, turn your computer off and on again. Yes, seriously, restart the computer. You might have a notepad document open with the cheat folder. I can't really see what's going on on your computer or what you're actually doing, but if you have another process open that is interacting with Project 64 in some way, that might be causing an issue with your cheats. So it's easiest for me to just tell you, turn your computer off and on again, basically. But that's really all there is to it. Those of you that follow me on YouTube, you're going to get this video early and you're also going to get a link to this guide that you're seeing on my website early. This is actually going to be added over the um, next few months to my website. I'm pulling a whole bunch of cheats off of the internet archive that are basically lost to time. And um, this guide is going to be on there showing people how to get them working so they can actually use them. Last but not least, the other thing I guess I could say is some cheats just plain won't work. They might be broken. They might not work with Project 64 compared to whatever the cheat device was before. So these are things you might have to consider and take into, uh, take into mind because not everything is perfect. The emulators don't emulate the games perfectly from the old consoles and there just may be some issues. Another one is, sorry to drag on the video, but I had issues with Donkey Kong 64. A few of the cheats um, just weren't plain working in the newbie area, but once I got out of the newbie area or training ground, whatever you would want to call that, tutorial area, they ended up started working. It's probably because memory addresses in the game weren't turned on yet for like special abilities or stuff like that, and that might be true for the game that you are playing. Those are some of the things you can do to troubleshoot the issue. But anyway, if this video helped you guys out, be sure to leave me a like because that helps me out. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future videos. Peace.